world friends welcome to noonish prayer for thursday october the first the first of october today is national black dog day you may have remembered from i don't know a couple of months ago i guess there was a national black cat day uh well this is national black dog day on october 1st and the uh, purpose is essentially the same as it was for black cats uh, it's to encourage the adoption of a dog of a darker shade um, because just like as just like for cats black dogs are less likely to be op adopted for no other reason than their color so if you have a black dog and you'd like to post a picture i've tried to fix the uh, problem that we had before when i invited you to post the picture but i'm not sure it did so don't yell at me if it doesn't work but if you have a black dog that is dear to your heart and you'd like to share a picture of him or her with us i invite you to try to do that in the comment section and hopefully i've fixed the problem that we had before so happy national black dog day the peace of the lord be with you all and also with you let us pray holy god holy and mighty holy and immortal have mercy on us our father in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as in heaven Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Today's uh, scripture reading uh, comes from, we're still in the third chapter of the book of Hebrews, beginning today at the seventh verse. Therefore, as the Holy Spirit says, Today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as in the rebellion, as on the day of testing in the wilderness, where your ancestors put me to the test, though they had seen my works for forty years. Therefore I was angry with that generation, and I said, They always go astray in their hearts, and they have not known my ways. As in my anger I swore, they will not enter my rest. Take care, brothers and sisters, that none of you may have an evil, unbelieving heart that turns away from the living God, but exhort one another every day as long as it is called today, so that none of you may be hardened by the deceitfulness of sin. For we have become partners of Christ, if only we hold our first confidence firm to the end. As it is said, Today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as in the rebellion. Now, who were they who heard and yet were rebellious? Was it not all those who left Egypt under the leadership of Moses? But with whom was he angry forty years? Was it not those who sinned, whose bodies fell in the wilderness? And to whom did he swear that he would not enter his rest, if not to those who were disobedient. So we see that they were unable to enter because of unbelief. Here ends today's reading. Show us your mercy, O God, 
and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. I invite you now to offer your thanksgivings and your prayers of petition in silence. Beloved God, from you come all things that are good. Lead us by the inspiration of your spirit to know those things that are right, and by your merciful guidance, help us to do them. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. O gracious and holy Father, give us wisdom to perceive you, diligence to seek you, patience to wait for you, eyes to behold you, a heart to meditate upon you, and a life to proclaim you through the power of the Spirit of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.